Hey you guys, I'm going to be doing a response video to a girl that's asking about how to put in a tampon. And the thing is, she started last month, that was her very first period. And I don't recommend starting on tampons right away until you actually know your cycle. Wait, like, a, like after a year at least, so you know that like regulates a little bit but let's compare the tampons and the pads even though they're gonna have the same pros and cons but the thing about those is you have to figure out which ones are right for you and your flow and the shape of like if you're small like you know how people have like small figures like small girls and they don't really need the big pads like the always infinity i use those because it covers the entire area right there and more on the back because i kind of like sit back like this a whole lot and i'm afraid that it might leak back and my parents will kill me if i get any blood on these couches because they're <laughs> leathery and the ones that I used to use, I think they're called Utex or something like that. They look like this. They didn't really help me a lot because it was just like rounded shape and it was the same length on each side and it would leak a lot. It would capture some of the blood but then it would let some of it run to the back and it didn't help and it did help me on leaking out of my pad a lot whenever it was the worst possible moment like at school and it kind of sucked so I'm telling you that right now so um what i would recommend whenever you are wearing a tampon i've never worn one before but i've heard it hurts so you might want to have your mom help you and i know it might be awkward but either you're getting it in or you're not wearing one at all so just telling you that right now the thing with that is if you're afraid you're going to be leaking and this is if you're not like going to a pool or anything and you're just like wearing it because you're wearing like short shorts or something really nice and you don't want to be wearing a pad then you should wear like a panty liner under it under it just in case you leak it at least capture that until you need to change again so you know that's just a precaution that you need to take if you're leaking then you seriously need to either like nudge your mom be like because if you're in the middle of a conversation the person keeps talking like okay oh i uh, okay oh that's that's interesting then you should be like mom gotta go change because i do that to my mom all the time she'd be like oh okay i'll get you out of this so then she starts a conversation with that person she is awesome so and what else okay with your teachers it's okay if you can tell your teachers there if i have I had women teachers my entire life until fifth grade i had one teacher because i had three periods they're all spanish and yeah that was weird dual language that's what they were um i kind of just gave him the look that her his daughter gave him because she was in my class she's my best friend and i just gave him the look like And stuff like that, and he's just like, oh, I need to go, and stuff like that. And I used to tell my teachers too that, that too. And some of them are like old enough to not be on the period anymore, so they're like, okay, yeah, whatever. And they just let you out of class because if they don't, then they're getting ready for a blood pool. I'm serious, I bleed so much. And the next video I'm gonna be doing is about the first period experience. Hey, <laughs> rhymes. But yeah, that's all I have to say on p on the pads and the. Just remember that because it's actually a good tip. I I, I told I told my friend that one time and she's like, okay then, I would try that. But you know, just remember if you like feel like you're full down there, then you just go. Don't even second guess it like, oh, might not be. Just go and change it right now because I'm sorry for the toys in the background. Go and change it right now because, you know, you never know and you want to be safe about that and you don't want to be leaking through and you don't want it just to sit there like under you and you might get infections and it's not a good idea to do that. And two, if you are trying to wear a tampon and you have an infection down there, that's not a very good idea. Just try to wear pads and stuff like that. So... 
guys all have to stay on that and I will see you guys later. Okay? Bye.